In cities like Paris, Madrid, and around the world Monday, people gathered in person and online for the annual observance of International Women's Day. Riders at this rally in Mumbai celebrated the occasion on motorbikes, saying that the day serves as a reminder that women are not to be taken for granted. But this year's celebration comes amid turmoil in countries like Myanmar. The UN says more than 50 people there are dead as of Monday, the victims of violence following a coup and the arrest of de facto leader Aung San Suu Kyi. Fio Fio Ang is co-founder of the Wings Institute for Reconciliation, an organization that aims to bring young people together to bridge cultural and religious differences. She is a recipient of this year's International Women of Courage Award and is considered an emerging leader in Myanmar. She spoke with Voice of America. It is a time of dramatic change in my country. There are women leaders from all walks of life who courageously joined the anti-coup movement. I feel awkward, uncomfortable and sad to receive this award in this difficult time. Even though I do not deserve this award compared to those who sacrifice most, I am accepting it on behalf of all courageous women who fight for democracy and freedom for our country. First Lady of the United States Jill Biden spoke Monday at the State Department's Women of Courage virtual observance. These women made an extraordinary choice to persist, to demand justice, to believe that despite the obstacles and fear that they faced, that there is a future worth fighting for. President Joe Biden marked the day by signing two executive orders. One establishes a gender policy council and the other takes aim at sexual assault on college campuses. Monday marks the 15th year of the International Women of Courage Award presented by the U.S. Secretary of State. Arash Arabasadi, VOA News, Washington.